everybody. So today we're going to make this baby carriage. I'm not going to make the whole card. I'm just going to show you how to make the baby carriage with the little baby in it. This was actually a request. Um, someone, I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but she requested, saw it on my blog and asked if I could make a video for it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that today. So I'm going to show you how I did it. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to my blog. And I'll put a link in the down bar below there where you can go. And you're going to go to the post that I put the baby card in. And what you want to do is you're going to want to click on the picture of the, uh, kind of like a punch guideline. Click on it, makes it larger, then you're going to want to print it out. And this will give you like a handy reference as to which punches I use for which part of the baby carriage. As well, if you had any other questions, there might be some more information on there. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need a large circle and I actually use the largest circle on the colossal but you could use like a die cutter or anything like that that has a large circle my circle measures just a little bit under four and a quarter round so that's the best way to do and then what you want to do is you're going to take a pencil just freehand it and make like a little V in the side that we're going to cut out for the part where you're going to see the baby's head so you just go ahead and use your pencil, and then you're just going to use your scissors and cut that out. Kind of have like a Pac-Man shape. You're going to need two additional circles cut out in your pattern paper in the exact size. So whatever you use to cut that one out, go ahead and cut out two in your coordinating pattern paper. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do, using this as a guide, you're going to want to put it down. Then using your pen, just put a little notch where you're going to want to be cutting it. I would use a pencil, but I'm using a pen. That's what I have right next to me. And you're just going to trim that off. And actually you can just trim it right across. Then just using some adhesive, we're just going to cover that up. And glue, whatever you have handy, adhesive-wise. Okay, like that. Okay, so after you have that, then you're going to take your other circle that you had, cut it in half, because this is what's going to be the top part of your baby hood here. So what you're going to do, now this one you're going to do a little differently because you want to get those lines, the ridges I did in the hood. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of stick it down, kind of get an idea of where your point is at, I guess you'd say. So offset it a little bit like that and then let's, um, let's go back here on the back side So you're going to want that a little bit longer because you're going to kind of work with it. So I would just cut it. You're going to want to put adhesive down on here where we're going to be attaching it to. Then you just start laying the pieces down. They can be off a little bit because you can go back and trim it with your scissors.
Now, to do the ribbon, you're just going to cut off a pretty long piece. I'd say about, that's four, let's do, I'd say about 14 inches just to make sure you have the same right amount today. So, you're going to want to take some adhesive, some fairly strong adhesive. Run it down the edge of your buggy, like that. Take your piece of ribbon and you're going to put, gonna put one piece down and you're going to scrunch it up and over like that. Then you do another one, and another one, and another one. See how I'm doing that? You just kind of play with it. You have to kind of really work it to get it to go. So kind of like that. And then what I do with the ends is I actually like to fold them back behind so that I don't have to worry about them coming off fraying. Just fold the edge back. This one here, you can just trim it. There you go. Now, for the tires on the baby buggy, you're going to need a 1 and 3 8 inch punch, a 1 and 3 quarter inch punch, and then you're going to use the triple blossom punch, triple layer flower punch from Stampin' Up. Um, this is what it looks like. You don't have to use these punches, but these are just the punches that I had that I used. So I punched out two circles out of Early Espresso, one and three quarters, and then two additional punches in one and three eighths from Calypso Coral. And I'm going to go ahead and attach those to the center. Like that. And then I've punched out the flowers. And you're going to want it, if you are using this punch, you're going to want it to be on the third setting, the very last setting with the picture of the full flower. When you punch it out, it's going to give you the flower and a ring. You can just discard the rings or set them aside for another project. They're kind of like the spokes in a tire, basically. You can just put that in the center. And then I'm going to use a brad in the middle. There we go. I'm using the neutral brads from Stampin' Up. And I believe these two are early espresso. They have a little bit of a brown look to them. You just want to punch a hole in the middle of your flower using your paper piercer, hole punch, whatever you want to do. Like that. I want to make yours a little bit stricter than I did on that one. <laughs> but hey, it's handmade. That's what makes it unique, right? Okay. Now, to attach them, you're going to want to use two, di two dimension some dimensional adhesive on the back tops of the tires. So I like to hold on to my scraps from my dimensional sheet. It's perfect for stuff like this. 
we are not using the whole thing. You can just pop that on there. And then if you were to put this on the card or something, you could just put some more on the bottom side. So there's your tires and your buggy. We're going to do the baby. So to do the baby, the baby is just a bunch of punches basically. And what I did, you're going to start, refer to your sheet, and up here's all the directions for the baby. You're going to need a one and three quarter inch circle, one and three quarter inch circle. You're going to need two, and you're going to want these to be flesh colored. Unless you're making an alien baby, then you can make it any color you want. But I'm making a human baby, so we're going to use flesh color. And I use Blush Blossom, which is actually retired from Stampin' Up. You're going to need one and three quarter, two half inch circles for the ears, and you're going to need one, one and a quarter circle for the nose. So that's this one and a quarter circle punch, and then the other one is the half inch circle punch. And then, of course, the head is the one and three quarter punch. Okay, so let's see. First thing is the ear. Well, actually you only need one ear because the baby's head is kind of tilted, so you only see one ear. So you could get away with that, just doing one. I'm going to use Tombow Mono Adhesive. Tweezers always come in handy. And you're just going to stick it from the back there. Okay, for the eyes, I must have forgot to punch that out. You're going to need two half inch white circles for the eyes. Your little teeny tiny nose. To add some more dimension to these pieces, you could actually sponge around the outsides of them with some of the coordinating ink, like the blush blossom, to give it a little bit more depth. But I think it looks cute just doing it this way. And then for the center of the eyes, I punched out two black one and a quarter inch circles. Kind of like my cartoon. It's kind of like cartoon baby. Make your tweezers moving around. Make your babies look however you want. And then, for the pacifier, my baby has in his mouth, I used a small heart punch, which is this one right here, and I punched out a small heart, and then to do the ring around the bottom of it, you are going to need the one and a quarter punch. The first thing you're going to do is punch with that one first, discard that, and then using half inch circle punch, you're going to go back over that. And I kind of off-centered a little bit so that my ring had a little thicker end to it. Like that. And then, of course, you want to attach that with the glue. Well, the tweezers come in handy. 
and we can have things move around a little better here. Okay, and then you're just going to put some more glue on the back of that. And put that in place. And your baby. It doesn't have to be right in the middle because we all know the babies kind of get those binkies in there and they're all twisted and whatnot. And then I've made a baby girl, so what I did for a bow is I took a star, the small star punch right here, punched one of those out, and then I need a little circle, and I found the little circle was perfect from Stampin' Up's Cupcake Punch and these little like sprinkles on top, I used one of those for my circle. And what you want to do with your star, it's just going to cut the point off, and you need to do that twice. To make a little bow. And so basically this is where your tweezers are definitely going to come in handy. Then you're going to take the end point point. you're going to put it in the center. And your other end point and you're going to put that oh, in the center. And then let's get some adhesive on my head. I'm going to lift the baby's head here. I want that to go. There's my little head. And then for the hair, I'm just going to use some DMC floss, I believe it's called. Um, just get some whatever colors you have. You can use it lighter, brighter. Maybe you have a little punk baby, you can use blue. You know, sky's the limit. Just cut a piece off. And then what I did is I folded it in half. So I cut a piece off like that. Then I turned it around, tied it in a knot, like that, and then you flip it up, like so. And then you're going to want to flip your baby over, put some adhesive on the back, Nice little pull of it. And you're gonna put your floss down so it's sticking up some. Then take a scrap piece, like maybe a piece of something you've got laying over here. Just cut that off. Add a little bit more adhesive. I'm gonna put that over it to kind of seal it in so it don't go anywhere. Like that. Then you just trim it with your scissors. And you just kind of trim it up. Then you're going to take your baby head and you're going to put it in the buggy where it's kind of like it's peeking out. And then you're just going to put some adhesive on the back side of the buggy. Here. Hold your baby in. Your baby on the counter on the table. So get your baby where you want it and then you just attach it down. I hope you guys like that. Just go over my blog and make sure you punch or print out that template of the punches that were used. That way you have a reference to look at. And I hope you like it. Thanks. Bye-bye.